What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Reviewing the Red Breast 12 year old cast strength. All right, that's the box in the bottle. The boxes are pretty easy to mistake for one another. The only difference is this one has the barrel with cast strength on it and the label. Um, they're very similar. This one's bottled at 57.4%. Like I said, it's a 12 year old. Um, it's definitely unchill filtered, but it might have a touch of added color. It doesn't say anywhere on the bottle or the box, as far as I know, that it's no added color. But that's okay, because the taste is what matters. So I'm gonna nose it, taste it neat, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of water to nose it and taste it again. Um, yesterday I posted the Red Breast 12 year old bottled at 40%. You're gonna expect something very different. The process is still similar. They're using um, a single pot still and they are using malted and unmalted barley. Then they're triple distilling it. Okay, so a triple distilled cast strength is something I've never tried before. Actually, that's a lie. No, it's, that's true. Uh, I've never tried a triple distilled cast strength. I've tried a single cask, but it wasn't quite cast strength. They watered it down a little bit. Um, this cast strength, I predict, will be a little bit smoother than usual because of the triple distillation. The nose is definitely more concentrated and I had the benefit of doing these almost side by side. Um, like I said, I, I posted the video yesterday, but um, recording wise, it, it was mere minutes apart. Same kind of fruits, a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, almost jammy, all right? The palate is much more robust, a lot sweeter than the 40% one. The finish lasts way longer. Wow. Um, as I stated in the previous review, the Red Breast 12, 40% one, um, I did the 21 year old, and that one's bottled at 46%. This is better, in my opinion. This is a lot better. And it's coming down to the fact that you can't beat the mouthfeel of a cast strength whiskey. It, it doesn't get much better than that. It's syrupy, sweet. You don't need to add a lot of water to this. I'm gonna do it for the, the sake of the review, but that triple distillation really smoothens this out. And at 57.4%, you don't need to add a lot of water, okay? I would add maybe a couple drops. And that's more for the purpose of opening it up as opposed to watering it down. And there is a difference, okay? So you add, a lot of people add water to bring the ABV lower, probably closer to around 46%. Whereas some people will just add a little bit of water to open up the the palette open up some of the things that you're not quite picking it up, quite picking up uh, on the nose. I do find that the nose is slightly dampened here, a little less um, robust fruit, more of a concentrated cooked down, uh, syrupy type jam like fruit. 
like a orange marmalade. It's like a pine note. Um, on the 40% one, it came out as a pineapple, but this is more of a pine syrup, um, almost maple-y type. No, definitely from the oak. Interesting. With a little bit of water, it actually in increases the sweetness. That's really nice. That's a tough one to mark for me. I'm gonna say that's an 88, 89, so I'm gonna say that's an A. All right, that's a high A for me. Um, really good stuff. I would definitely, but the, at, in Ontario, this is $110, worth every penny in my opinion. Um, you can get that for a lot less other places. So if you're spending south of $100 for this, US, Canadian, um, south of 60 pounds in the UK or around 65 euro in the rest of Europe, I think you're, you're getting this for a very good price and definitely worth every dollar. Especially just to keep the diversity in your collection, okay? That combination of malted and unmalted barley, it really does something to the whiskey that you wouldn't get in a single malt scotch, all right? So I really think this is a good whiskey. I think you guys would definitely like it. That's definitely a high A for me. Like I said, 88, 89. And that mark might even change once I finish the last few drams of this. I quickly had a small sample just to kind of get an idea of what it was all about. Um, but I'm really enjoying that. I was lucky enough to get it at this amount from Peter White. I think I mentioned in the other video. Um, super nice guy. We trade quite a bit of stuff. He brought a whole bunch of stuff for me and this is one of them and I'm really excited about it because I'll get to finish that off and I really enjoy it. That's too many reallys for one video. That's an A. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can also check me out on Snups. Um, if you haven't already, Join Snuffs, guys. Honestly, I think you're really going to enjoy it, especially if you have a collection, okay? I'll talk a little bit more about that in my next video when I review the Kentucky Owl 11-year-old. All right? This is a straight ride. Cheers, guys.